Uh, the biggest news out of our Kwaibom state of Nigeria after last Saturday's rerun senatorial election is that the former governor of the state and now federal minister, Katsila Babu, lost out yet again. Well, the rerun election had been ordered by a court only for Esin Udim local government area, the home of the former governor, who lost out initially to a former deputy governor of the state, Chris Ebeyon. In the wake of last weekend's exercise, there have been allegations of widespread malpractice and violence marring the polls. Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission, that's the INEC, has passed a vote of no confidence on the results, while both camps and the contests have been getting involved in an interesting back and forth over the matter. Well, joining us now from our Abuja studio is Ini Ememobong, the State Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in a quiet bomb state. Ini, glad to have you uh, join me on Arise Africa. Well, someone says that in a quiet bomb, yeah, yeah, someone says that in a quiet bomb, elections are not held, the results are written. In fact, not just someone. I was listening to uh, um, the, uh, well, at Nainek Rec officer in, 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 in Akwaibom State this morning said that. Now, do you agree with that assertion? Uh, Andy, like I've said a couple of times, every human ideology has to move in a progressive direction towards the better. Uh, even the, the, the theory of human evolution says we are evolving now. So elections, every election gets better than the previous. Uh, if he speaks from a position of authority as INEC resident electoral commissioner, he, 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 would, um, he would be speaking from available facts to him. But the, the consciousness of everyone is that we are moving in a progressive mood from movement from good to better, and uh, we hope to get to best. But the, the, the true position is that in that movement, in that progression, there are forces and there are people who are determined to impede the, either the speed of that movement or derail the movement completely. So in the, in the drive for the attainment of proper democracy, you discover that a lot of people are interested in either circumventing the process or destroying the process. And, and, and that's the situation where we found ourselves where in 31 local government areas of Akwaibom State, you discover that in all of the cases we went to, the court that for a rerun in one local government area, which is a synodom. And uh, you, you'd be asking, uh, what's it in a synodom? You would also have to trace it to the dramatist person in a synodom. But also, the Court of Appeal had um, asked that the certificate of return be redrawn from the PDP person who won the elections and given to the APC person whom, in the wisdom of the Court of Appeal, uh, won the elections. And the rest of the Electoral Commissioner obeyed that and, and handed over the certificate. The gentleman has been sworn into the House of Assembly and is there. So when people say, when the APC, for example, says that uh, the rest of the Electoral Commissioner disobeyed court order, the question is, there was a Court of Appeal order asking him to recognize the member from Bo, who is APC, and he has done so. So in this period, you would discover that a person, a political party promised Warsaw, and in the elections, two elections that held during the general election, the National Assembly and Presidential election, the Governorship and House of Assembly election, there was violence in just one place. But like Einek was saying about the rerun, it was not widespread. In the rerun for a synodom, it happened only in one ward which is the senator's ward. It happened at a point where materials, electoral materials, and uh, personnel were found in the house of his brother. And today the APC state chairman has accepted that the locus, the place where those things were found, is, uh, is the residence of the gentleman whom the police uh, identified as. Uh, so the issue mm. is not whether in the past elections held. The issue is every system, even the president, President Muhammad Buhari has said he wants a better election. Everyone has a desire for a progression towards what is better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, 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 you've tackled uh, the present, but you're talking about Frank Iguini, who is wreck. I don't know that you particularly uh, tackled that question. Mike Iguini. Mike Iguini, sorry, not Frank. Uh, thank you for the correction. That yeah. it, it's, it's, it's been usual that elections don't, are not held in a quiet bomb state. Do you agree particularly with that assertion? by someone who should know and not, and not um, belonging to any political party. I mean, an eye neck pressing, a wreck for that matter. Mm. That's, the, that's the question. No, the, then the answer is simple. I, 
I vote in one unit. Okay. Uh, and therefore, in the position of the law, the law says that I should make facts known to me available. In my unit, in what? For Unit 7, we will be, be on the local government area, we've been having elections. But if he sits as resident electoral commissioner, and he came in 2016, if he sits as resident electoral commissioner and says that, look, from the facts available to me, which are now facts available to his office, not facts available to me in the PDP office. I, I yeah. sit as public secretary today, yeah. and I know that in 2015 I voted in my unit yeah. elections. We followed the elections from my unit to my ward coalition mm -hmm. to the local government coalition. I don't know what happens at the state coalition. Okay. I've never been part of the state coalition process, but I've been part of the unit election in my unit. I've been part of ward coalition in ward four. I've been part of chapter coalition in Ibionibom local government. And when we finish, we transmit the results there. So if he says election has not been happening in Ibionibom, I will go down to say that in my unit, these are the facts and figures that elections okay, have good. taken place in my unit. Good. And when we finish, we transmitted it to the ward. Good, Ini. Let me ask you this question. In your opinion, if you're able to do that, I mean, devoid of partisan considerations, uh, in the morning again, I Guinea was uh, blaming. In fact, he pointed accusing fingers at the political parties being responsible for most of the anomal anom anomalies we experience uh, during elections. So your partisan considerations, if you can, what actually happened at ACM Odim local government area? If you can, not minding the fact that your PDP, yes, so that your, uh, uh, or we're talking about APC, if you can. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Uh, Andy, we, we are first Nigerians, we are first Akwaibom people before we belong to political parties. Good. And like you've noticed now, the, the, the critical persons who are involved in this issue. We're once all in, in one party. So circumstances can make people shift parties and realign and all that. So we must come to the ideology not from a partisan disposition. We must come to the ideology from the point that builds the country and builds the city. So this is it. Now, it starts from nomination. The issue is we must allow people to nominate candidates. Now, so what are the issues in Ecotic Benes Senatorial District? In Ecotic Benes Senatorial District, the first, particularly is Yenudum. You discover that the internal zoning of the people was respected by the PDP and other parties did not respect it. So it needed a lot of force to be able to bend the will of the people. Now, when you go to Ecotic Benes Federal Constituency, it is a standing rule there that people do not do second term. And the former governor understands that. He came to meet that in practice. And when he decided to retain the House of Representatives seats of his own party in his local government, he knew that he was going against the majority wishes of Ikorek Bene people. And therefore, he now needed a lot of force, which is why you recorded that in the whole of Nigeria, you discovered that I'm sure that we had the largest dis the detachment of army people coming for elections in 2019 in Akwaibom State and in that particular federal constituency and senatorial district. In the rerun election, a few days before the rerun election, we had a situation where uh, the APC people said they were withdrawing from the elections. And INEC said you could not withdraw because the time limit for withdrawal had long elapsed. This is a court order rerun, and therefore you cannot withdraw from it. But a day to the elections, having submitted their agents list and everything, they still went on to say that they were withdrawing. And I, I, I addressed the press conference and said it was a ploy to deceive people and allow the people to let their guards down. And they can go in and still hijack materials and win the elections. And because immediately, if, assuming that they garnered more votes than the PDP, I think would have announced them the winner. And even their state chairman said on camera that, look, if INEC announces us winner, we would accept the result. So the problem is a situation where people want elections in a do or die manner. Their House of Assembly candidate is on tape saying that his election is do or die. Right. And therefore, without partisan consideration, on the day of the rerun election, just before the rerun election, we had a DIG sent in for a local government election. On that day of rerun election, distress calls were made to the police command, and the DC ops sent a detachment of police officers who went to the house of an APC person and found materials for more than six units. Now, that's your word, against there. theirs. Materials, mm. personnel. Th that's your word, didn't no, you? No, again. no, that, that, that's your word. Command. That's your word against theirs. But let me ask you this question. Again, no, I, refer, no, Andy, I, I you've, refer not, you've not read the, the, the press statement 
by the police command? No, that's not a word. The police command even identified the house of the person and put a name to it. Today, this morning, on an earlier show, the state chairman confirmed, the state chairman of the APC confirmed to the world that that house belongs to the person that, that the uh, uh, police information said it was. It's not my word, sir. All right. The police identified the building. Okay. All of us know the building. Let but the police went for that to identify let, oh, the building. Oh, well, 79 uh, thugs were arrested. <laughs> And as we speak, all of them have been released. All right, Ini. Uh, it's a pity I can't take the last question, but thank you for your time on Arise Africa. Thank you so much.